Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Back with you, back with another portfolio update for you today. I know it was not long since I've done my last portfolio update, but that was because I come into a bit of extra cash for the month and I thought I'd invest it into the portfolio. This this one I'm doing today is the usual one that I would do. So at the end of the month when I usually get my income from my job. So I'll get into the portfolio with you now. It currently stands at £3,159. £3, now let's get into the stocks and see how they perform for the week. So the first up we have is Verizon. Gone a bit down, up and down this month. I currently own eight shares. I just bought one in my last round of investing when they was down about 2%. So I currently own three hundred and sixty-seven pounds worth of them. Average price of forty-five pounds and eighty-two pence, up point zero one three percent. The next up on the list we have is AT and C, up four percent in the month. I own twelve shares of AT and C. Average price of twenty-four pounds and ninety-two pence, up ten point two eight percent, or thirty pounds. The next up we have is Coca-Cola, up 6% this month, which is quite a bit of a rise for them. I own 7 shares with an average price of £36.96, up a whopping 17% on my initial investment with Coca-Cola. Next up on the list we have is Abvi. Abvi recovered a bit over the last, last week or so, but generally in the month they're down 3%. I own five shares with an average price of fifty-eight pounds and thirty-three pence, and my investment is down six point six five percent with Abvi at the moment. I do I want to look at buying some more of Abvi while the price has dropped a bit down, so I'm gonna be keeping my out for them. Next up on the list we have is my new stock, which is Starbucks, which has gone up a whopping twenty percent in this month. I got in a fairly reasonable time, fairly reasonable time around about the ninety ninety dollar mark. So I own three shares of Starbucks. I did buy another share in my latest round of investing to take it up to three, but an average price of £73, up 9.15%, £20. Next up on my list we have is Colgate. I bought another share of these also in my investing, up around 2% this month. I own four shares of Colgate with an average price of £57.79. Up 2.51%, which is good. Next up on the list, we have is Microsoft, another one of my newer stocks. I did buy another share yesterday. Up 5% this month. I now own two shares of Microsoft with an average price of £112.24, up 1.3%. You can see my activity of buying them. Next up on the list, we have Johnson & Johnson, who are down around 5% this month. I did buy a, a share of these yesterday as well, also. I now own two shares with an average share price of £105.50, pence, sorry. Down around 0.4%. The next up on the list we have is Ford, who are down around 6% this month. I own 25 shares with an average price of £8.12, pence currently down 5.31% on my investment. Next up on the list we have is Imperial Brands, up around tw a massive 12% this month. As we discussed in my video last week, they've been buying back shares from shareholders, which then incurs the share price rise. I own six shares with an average price of £20.20. .20. My investment is currently up 6% or £7.28. That's Imperial Brands. Next up on the list is Royal Dutch Shell, gas and oil, down around 1.4% this month. I currently own five shares with an average price of £25.04, up around 1.97%. Next up on the list we have is US Corporate Bond, which is up around 3.2% for the month. I currently own two shares with an average price of £42.08 and they are up for me on my investment 3.67%. Next 
Next up on the list is one of my best performers of the months. It's Barrett, who are up a whopping 16%. The real estate development from the UK. Yeah, doing really well at the moment. I own 11 shares at the average price of £5.93 and currently up 11.68% on my investment. Next on the list we have is Aviva, down around 1% for the month. I own 14 shares with an average price of £4.12, down around 0.4%. Next on the list we have is another sorry about that. Gas and oil company, which is BP. Currently down around 5% for the month. With an average, uh, sorry, I own 10 shares with an average price of £5.52, down on my investment around 5%. Next up on the list is another high performance of, for the month, which is Bank of America, who are up around 10% for the month. I own two shares with an average share price of £21.96, up on my investment 12.56%. Next, another high performer, high performing bank stock, which is Wells Fargo, up around, up up for the month around six percent. I own one share with an average price of thirty five pounds and eighty eight pence, up ten point five percent, three five percent on my investment. The next up we have is National Grid, who in the month are up around two percent. I own three shares with an average price of £8.22, up around 2.85% on my investments. The next up we have is Taylor Wimpy, who are up around 12% for this month, doing quite well as well. I own 14 shares with an average share price of £1.81, down 3.39% on my investment. Next up on the list we have is Lloyd's. We were down around 2% for the month. I own 39 shares of Lloyd's. Average price of 62 pence. Oh, and they are down. my investment is down 9.33%. Next up we have his commercial property. We were up around 4% for the month. I own 16 shares with an average price of £1.18. And my investment is currently down 1.14%. Next up on the list we have his Vodafone, up a massive 12%, who I still feel are massively undervalued at the moment. When 5G kicks in properly, I think these will skyrocket, as I've said in previous videos. But anyway, I own 5 shares with an average price of £1.35, up around 7.96%. This Vodafone, and one of the newer ones I've bought as well is Renewable Infrastructures. <laughs> Which I currently bought five shares at one at the average price of one pound twenty eight, and they are down point seven eight percent. I bought them on the twenty third of July, six pound forty five shares. So I'm just gonna go into my activity, guys, and just show you what I did buy yesterday. So it was one share of Johnson and Johnson, one hundred and five pounds. One share of Microsoft, one hundred and twelve pounds and ninety six pence. One share of Verizon, forty five pounds and fifteen pence, and I got I did get one. For Johnson Johnson rejected the day before, but that was because when I tried placing it, the share price moved and it thought I was trying to buy it for lower than it actually was, so it therefore rejects it. I also bought one for Colgate for £58, and then as you can see, there's my top up. So, yeah, the portfolio is looking really good, guys. I think it's going to continue to grow, and with obviously Boris Johnson now coming into the prime, prime minister's seat of the country, we'll have to. See what happens in the coming months with regards to stocks. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video.